Toombs and Cyber Freaks. Welcome to Cyberpunk 2077. So, two things up front here before we start. Number one, today I have decided after a lot of thinking, uh, I will be hanging up the gorilla arms. A lot of people are saying it's the uh, not necessarily the most interesting thing to watch, which I think is a very fair point. Uh, the thing that made me personally want to hang up the gorilla arms is that we've done it. You know, we've proven that we are the best, strongest, biggest, muscled, largest, most veinous cocked man in uh, Night City, right? With the use of these cyber arms. We've beaten to death everybody who stood in our way. We have fought through all of the boxing missions. We have fought bosses with a massive hammer without so much as breaking a sweat. And of course, yesterday we defeated a big grand champion of boxing himself, who was supposedly some sort of monster that Vic was saying was, you know, filled with all these premium cyberware, cybernetic cyber things, and then we took him down in like three punches, it took two seconds. So I think it's time we hang up the gorilla arms because we can officially say V is number one. The best, the best of the best. And I think if we keep using it, there's no challenge. Yeah, sure, I can turn the difficulty up, but it's time to move on to New Horizons. I have an idea for the build I want to pursue. If you have any suggestions, please throw them at me because uh, I will be starting a new build today and I'll timestamp everything. Um... But the, uh, the, the build will not matter too much in the long term because I've got a mod that lets us respec as much as we like. So if I do a build and it's shit, we can reset and we can start again. Now, here's the thing. I've already recorded this episode once today, and I recorded um, testing out the throwing knives. And the throwing knives were, to be blunt, not very interesting at all. It was just basically throw a knife, get a headshot, wait for the knife to respawn Throw another knife, get a headshot, rinse and repeat. It was not interesting in my opinion. Um, though I'm sure it'd be fine if you want to do a, a slow, stealthy, silent build where you cosplay a ninja. That's fine. It doesn't make for good viewing. Even worse than the Gorilla Arms in my experience. And I didn't find it very enjoyable to play. I want to try revolvers and sniper rifles. And coincidentally, they're both affected by the same perks. So that's what we're going to move on to today. We're going to try out some weapons and that will come later. First things first, though, I did some jobs between episodes to get some more money um, so that we could, you know, experiment with some builds all bit. I said for the DLC, we're going to put the DLC on ice for a second and not worry about that for a little while more. We've got so many side quests and stuff to do. I want to try different builds and whatnot. Um, so don't worry about that. No spoilers or anything. When I get into that, I'll make sure it's listed in the title as being a DLC thing uh, so you won't accidentally spoil yourself. The first quest we're going to do, though, is one I got a call about while I was doing some... Uh, some gigs. Gigs, very boring, very straightforward. Go to the site, grab an item, get out. They are really, there's nothing to them at all. Lots of people keep saying, no, 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 the gigs are the interesting ones. And I keep saying, no, 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 they're not. Trust me. Maybe in the DLC they are, but in this, it's literally go to place A, pick up item, go to place B, drop off item. That's it. Those are the quests. And I've done about 10 of those, and they've all been basically identical. So those aren't interesting. However, I got a phone call from Judy. And that's going to lead us to this quest right here. Now, the reason I'm, I'm kind of putting a preamble on this, big warning, this quest deals with some very heavy themes surrounding suicide and such things. If you want to skip over it, I'll timestamp it. Uh, but that's just something you should know. I've, I've already played through it once, right? Because, again, I tried doing the throwing knives thing. Um, and this kind of blindsided me when I first went in. I get the feeling that uh, if you have experience with this type of thing, it may be somewhat uncomfortable. So just be fair warned. And, again, if you want to skip over it, uh, it deals with the Evelyn related stuff. Please have a look at timestamp on screen now to skip over. In the bathroom! Oh, Bird offs herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving her ass. And once again, Johnny Silverhands is the. I was only gone an hour. The most unlikable character ever. Gotta do something with her. As per usual. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. And again, Johnny Silverhand's just awful. Uh, somebody in, uh, in, in, I won't say who it was, because they don't need the shame associated with what Johnny is saying right now. They were like, oh, Johnny is such a nice guy. You just played him like an asshole. No, Johnny is, oh, he's an asshole. I'm not sure we should move her before the badges get here. She's just another dead whore to them. Nobody will care. At least we can do is treat her with some dignity. All right. Ugh. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. Northside Jackson Street. 
No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Jamal! No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you. If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. They'll be here soon. <laughs> Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? Uh, let's let's be on her side. She doesn't need somebody being like, "Oh, but they're understaffed." Don't know. Just, just like all things considered, you let's let back her up. Pretty light. Even Happened if she doesn't me, mean it, let's just back her up. Like nobody's biz. She needs a friend. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Yep. Absolutely no problem. Close the door, V. Please. Johnny, fucking silver hands. Just a terrible guy. Uh, I mean, a well written character, don't get me wrong. But just an awful human being. The awful machine man. I'm a cig. Didn't know you smoked. Uh, quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Now I will admit before I was like, no, nah, I'm I'm out of cigarettes. And she was like, I don't believe you and give me the cigarette. So I didn't, you don't have a choice but to give her one. Here. I tried to avoid it. Like, she's a, a, in a, an emotionally terrible place. You don't want to encourage that. That was her smoke case. So I was trying to avoid this subject, but it didn't work. Want to hold on to it? No. You seem to like it. Keep it. Kind of glad it's you that has it, actually. Go watch her hair. Fucking hell. Didn't realize how close that was last time. Fuck, Evie. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. Stay strong. Don't know what to say. Can't believe she gave up. I mean, it's... I think it's very believable she gave up. I don't know what to say. Never was any good at this stuff. You don't need to talk. You did more for her than anyone else. And saying I had a motive to find her, Judy. Stay strong. You know that. It's so condescending. It's what you bring that counts. You gave her the freedom to choose. Yeah, maybe. Just never imagined she'd choose this. Her condition couldn't think about anything else. Tech wise, she was clean. Doll shard was operational, uncorrupted. So, psychological trauma had to be that. Did some more digging in her virtues, found Woodman. He kept her. Had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. You really should not watch that. I zeroed Woodman. Didn't plan on it. Just had the chance. You're going to do terrible out. things to Judy Glad as I well. Did, though. Just watching that shit back. Me too. I can't even imagine. Still, it's not enough. There are so many more like him. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Suze. Thanks, V. Sorry. But uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Honestly, very fair. Uh, sure you don't need anything? Sure you don't need anything. 
No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. Only a phone call away. I mean, I might be in the middle of a quest or something like that, but only a phone call away, hey. And there you go. That is the end of that plotline. I will admit, I wasn't surprised. I wasn't, no, I was not surprised at all that that is how they would end that. It makes perfect sense. I can't argue with it. But it did seem to be probably what was going to happen, right? The chips were very much on the table with it. So then, let's do a little experimentation. I think we want to go down to... Obviously, we've got to go to Vix, right? Um, Ripper Dock. Yes, please. Let's go and head down to Vix. Let's go and have a chat. Let's go and experiment with some different builds. Firstly, we need to remove the Edge Runners um, perk. Sorry, we need to remove enough cyberware because when we remove the Edge Runners perk, it will... Or more specifically, we can't respec until we do that, right? Because obviously, it'll put us way below our cyber capacity. If we do that with all the, all of the cyberware in. So we need to remove enough subway to get down to that and then move on from there. Um, I'm not going the wrong way. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're parkour, man. We can we can find another way. These things have... Oh, my freaking God. You hit one of those little spring things from Sonic. My God, that car went flying. The, the AI in this. Again, it's probably my only complaint about everything we've seen in the game. The AI are awful drivers. And that's coming from me. They make me look like a far more competent driver. I'm going to presume we're going to have to go around. I could try going through that building, but I, it, it probably won't work. Here's the problem with the parkour, right? I do think it is technically faster than... It's the right ripper. Am I in the wrong place? Well, I'm in the middle of gang warfare right now, so I'm... Sorry, let's just... Excuse me. I'm going to take that. And I'm just going to move out the way. <laughs> oh, we're much further away than I thought. Why did I think that said... Oh it does say 100 meters. We were, just, we were just on the other side. Anyway. Yeah, I want to test out revolvers and snipers. Because throwing weapons were really, 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 really boring. So then, uh, we'll have a chat with Vic. I don't know if we've got a Vetti for this, to be honest with you. thinking about swapping some chrome. You got any new toys? We don't need to have that conversation. We've had it a hundred times. We just need to drop below our edge runner perk. Um, what have we got here? Skeleton gives 20. We'll just drop whatever's got the highest value so it's less to put back on. I think it is the Skellington, though. Um, oh, 24 for that. Hell yeah. Oh, damn it. I was thinking of My bad. I accidentally pressed close. Right, okay. Unequip. Middle mouse button. There you go. Does that put us just below? I believe we're in the safe zone at this point. Oh, maybe not. No, I don't think we were. There you go. So now we can respec. Which I'll absolutely be doing. And maybe... Maybe we'll take away the monkey arms. Maybe... I mean, there's no point taking them away because there's just a slot that we're not using otherwise, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's see how it goes. So in theory, you, can, you, you get to reset once in the game, right? But uh, with this mod, it should let us... Yeah, it should just let us respec again whenever we want to. So that's that's pretty helpful. So then, I think uh, I want to go for... I really want the parkour stuff again. That's really cool. What is it under? When it affects pistols, revolvers, precision rifles, and sniper rifles. That sounds like an interesting change of pace. And it's basically totally the opposite of how I have been playing so far. We could always get a sniper with a suppressor on it and then a revolver for up front and kind of more personal stuff. So let's do that. Let's have a look. So, focus. 10% uh, headshot and weak spot damage. Unlocks focus mode. Automatically activates when you aim at full stamina. Ooh. Hello. Okay. Then we've got dead eye. 10% headshot and weak spot damage. Minus 25% stamina cost while shooting. So that also affects pistols, revolvers, precision, rifles, and snipers. There's another 10% headshot and weak shot damage. Unlocks dead eye mode. Sounds very much like uh, was it Call of Juarez that had a similar mechanic. Nerves of tungsten steel. Only affects revolvers, precision rifles, and sniper rifles when Deadeye is active. Guaranteed crit hits for headshots. Increased damage as distance increases. That sounds fun. California Reaper. 30% stamina after neutralizing an enemy with a range attack via a headshot or weak spot. High noon. Only affects pistols, revolvers, precision rifles. So they all affect the same collection of guns there, except for like this one, which also affected pistols. 
And they all affect pistols too. This one doesn't affect pistols, sorry. How confusing. But this one only affects pistols. Gotcha. Um, when Deadeye is active, 35% reload speed. Sure. Long shot. When Deadeye is active, your shots always deal full damage regardless of distance. Again, pistols, revolvers, precision. Seems weird that they lumped in revolvers and snipers. Well, what do I know about guns ultimately? Let's go for that. Um, what was this one then? 30% weapon swap speed when swapping to... Uh, ooh. I might not bother with that one. When swapping between pistols. I mean, I could see swapping from a sniper to a pistol if the enemies get close. But I don't think I'll worry about that. Um, minus 50% stamina cost from focus mode for each enemy neutralized while it was active. That seems fun. While focus is active, shooting grenades out of the air is easier. Whoa. That's interesting. I think that's so situational. It's almost a waste of a perk point. When focus is active, neutralizing enemy with a range attack resets its duration. That sounds really good. So we could stand at the top of the building, scope them all out with our optics, and then just go like headshot after headshot and just like pick them all off while it's while it's in that focus mode. That coupled with like a sand deviston could be pretty good. 10% reload speed for your next reload after neutralizing enemy while aiming. Uh, is that much point? I don't know if that's necessary. I'm not going to go for those. So time by 25% for your enemies when focus is active. So if we have that and we have that Sand Everston that slows time by, what was it, 80%? That could be nuts. Well, let's see what happens then, huh? Um, so this middle tree, this is the one I upgraded to try out the throne weapons. I'm sorry I didn't leave that in the video, but it's just not interesting in my opinion. Um, mitigation chance. Uh... That, that, when crouched, affects mitigation chance of movement speed. But that one, 20% mitigation chance when crouched and not moving, could actually be really good. Let's have a look through and see what else we've got. I think I've got to go back into technical ability, right? And I want to go back into edge runner right away. Just to, just to crack that out. And to get all the benefits, of course, from all the other cyberware too, I think is going to be so useful. Now, we already know what all these do, so I'll just click through these very fast. Cyberware stat modifiers, all slots are filled, we get minus blah, 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 blah. Yeah, Cyberware gain additional stat modifier, that gives them two stat modifiers, 25% components from looting. I don't know if that's really necessary. We'll, we'll keep that one on ice for now. 15% duration for Cyberware effects, I presume effects and Deviston. Looks a new Cyberware slot for your hands. 15% reduced cooldown for all Cyberware. Do we even want Amidextrous? I'm not sure. Um, if all Cyberware slots are filled, yep, sure. We've got to make sure we fill. Actually, let's cancel that because that might not work well with Cyborg. We might not have the Cyberware capacity. Looks the Cellular Adapter, which was really good. And then, of course, Edge Runner we want to take. All of this stuff is kind of survivability, like lowering uh, the, the consumables time and affecting your consumables so i'm not so bothered about that one that one only affects tech weapons can you get like a tech revolver for example i doubt it maybe not and then we've got loads of points left over we could go for some of the survivability in body oh obviously i've got to go into reflexes right i i, I still want the parkour stuff even though it's probably not so that's all assault rifles and SMGs. So that tree is pointless. That's blade. So that tree is pointless. I've got to go back into the parkour stuff. It's so good. And I feel like, especially if we're rocking a sniper, being able to get up high with crazy parkour seems like the right way to go about it. We didn't go all the way up to maximum body, if I'm not mistaken. Sorry, maximum reflexes before. So let's do it. Boom. Let's just reload weapons while... Okay, that seems good. Let's just shoot while sprinting. Sure. Chris slide distance. I don't know if I like that one. And Chris vaulting and climbing speed. Let's go with that one. Obviously, the dash is great. Mitigation chance when performing a dash. 100% uh, dash range towards enemies. Probably no use. 40% stamina after neutralizing an enemy while dashing. I don't know how often I'll be doing that, but the idea of a revolver with Sand Deviston, with the time slot, with everything, seems like we might be doing that quite a lot. Let's just shoot while dashing, obviously. Air dash. Gotta go for it. Proves mid-air maneuverability. 30% mitigation speed in mid-air. And 25 stamina from performing air dashes and double jumps. And they do not cost stamina. Makes us very mobile what am i going to spend the rest of these points on we've got 16 perk points um it's because i spent so much in the body tree before right uh, let's go for the pull then shoot grenades out the air because we've got a lot of time slow stuff quick draw sure do we get extra stamina and swapping during combat yeah, let's also go for rinse and reload and just basically tidy up that tree. I'm not bothered about that one. I'm not going to use a pistol, I don't think. I like the idea of this one. Mitigation chance when crouched and not moving. When crouched, the higher your mitigation chance, the longer it is for enemies to detect you. Seems really good. And then if we crouch and also get in cover, we're getting so much more mitigation chance, right? Level 2 of ninjutsu gives 15% mitigation chance when crouched as well. 
when crouch sprinting. When optical camo is active or you're undetected, neutralizing an enemy grants. So how do we get optical camo? Is that a, uh, that's got to be, optical camo activates automatically and consumes its charge gradually while crouch sprinting or sliding. Okay. Activates automatically. So, so there's, there's a camo cyberware. I swear we had something similar before. I really don't remember. Crouch sprinting during combat. Am I ever going to use that? I suppose we'll give it a go. Mitigation shots when crouch sprinting. Okay, well, maybe when I'm moving around with the sniper, that could be quite handy. I don't think so. That might be a waste of perks. I'll be honest, I'm struggling to decide what to spend stuff on right now. I might even put a point in body so we can get the health regen in combat. Health regenerate while sprinting. Does that include crouch sprinting? It's probably a better question. That's good. I like army of one. I think it's great. Comeback kid could be good too. That's what we've got then. That's our build. Now we get the fun task of speaking to Victor was thinking and about going through every crawl. single implant. This toys? could take a little while. Have a look. I don't think there's a lot of stuff we want to swap out. Gorilla arms? I'm going to want to equip them for now. I simple I'm well aware, but we probably want to have a look and see what we've got here. Minus 20% recoil. Could be fucking crazy. Reloading an empty weapon releases an electric shock. Minus 20% recoil. Jesus. Those can't stack. I can't put like one in one hand and one in the other, right? That'd be kind of crazy. What does this one do then? Explosion damage, reload speed. So that just does an electric shot when reloading an empty weapon. That's about smart weapons. And that one is crit chance with throwable weapons. So none of that is particularly useful in my opinion. We've got like the smart link. We've got the ballistic co-processor, which we're probably not going to use. I'm just going to sell some of these. Ballistic co-processor power weapons. We might find a power sniper. Who knows? So I guess I'll stick with it. Karoshi Optics then. Um, is there anything that's tech weapon? Zoom and scanning or aiming. What, what optical zoom does that give us? 10% as well. Highlights enemies. Ooh. But they're the same. That also does the highlight enemies as well. Oh, hello there. I had to re-render RimWorld. So I thought while I was re-rendering RimWorld, I'll go through everything slowly and take a look so the big changes then uh first things first in the integumentary system i've added optical camo so now we can go stealthy camo bear in mind we've got that part that activates it automatically i've gone big in mitigation chance right so i've uh, in the nervous system i think i swapped out everything but this thing right so this gives mitigation chance and strength this one slows time by 50% when we're detected, uh, almost specifically when it reaches 50% detection. And I think we have that perk that makes it so that if we kill someone while we're being detected, it resets it, right? I don't remember. It's, it's so much to take in, especially because it's like my second time doing this video. Spring joints in the skeleton. So I've really dropped our armor down massively, but I thought if we're staying in cover, if we're taking people out with, from a distance with headshots, we're not going to take as much damage, right? But we've gone big on mitigation. That was the thing I was going for here. Um, what else did I swap out, if anything? I really don't remember. Um, obviously, the hands thing, I swapped to a shop absorber, which is minus 20% recoil. I threw in a bio monitor for automatic healing. But I'll be honest, there's a lot of stuff. Like, I'd swap out the micro rotors if I could. But we also have that perk where we get a benefit if we have all of our cyberware slots filled. And besides ambidextrous, which I'm not sure will have an effect because it's technically a lot right now, this is as good as I can make it. Like, I have fine-tuned this shit right down. 273 out of 274. This is as good as it gets. So it's a lot of, um, yeah, it's a lot of stealthy stuff. A massive amount of mitigation chance. And to be honest... That's about all there is. There wasn't that many changes necessary. Now, I don't want to go too crazy with it. Because supposedly in um, in Dogtown, in the DLC area, there are brand new uh, bionics that you can get when you reach level 35. All the doctors there and only there unlock new stuff. Well, funnily enough, we're level 46. So we can do that, right? Um, anyway, that's good. And I was able to keep the gorilla arms, more importantly. So uh, if we do need to do some punches, I don't think it's very good. But if we do need to do some punches, we can still do 164 damage per hit, really. So even if we do need to go for that as a backup, we still got it, right? Here's the thing. I've only got 1,700 eddies, and I need a sniper rifle. So I think we'll go back to V's stash quickly. And here is the fool graffiti. Again, I know this because I've been here. I've been here before. I've been here before so, so many times. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. I think we did loot some sort of fancy sniper rifle, if I'm not mistaken. Let's crack open the stash. I said I was going to clean it out. I still haven't, but we will at some point. We do have this one here. 05. 
Hello. Uh, is it silenced? I don't think it is by the looks of it, but you know what? God damn it, that looks good. Um, give me one of those. We'll also need to buff up on... Oh, this thing's cool. Uh, we got this thing here. The, the Ch Chesa Chesapeake. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, this came from a Twitch drop. So you, you type in the code from Twitch and it comes into... Anyway, I got that, which is good. It's smart. It's a smart weapon. Um, it's also a submachine gun, so I'd have to swap over. What's got this one? La Chingona Dorada. Was that Jackie's gun? Empty muzzle slot. Empty... Oh, I mean, I've got to take Jackie's gun, right? Two of those. Ooh, give me one of those. Do it for Jackie. Do it for Jackie. I mean, I did want a revolver, admittedly, but do it for Jackie. Uh, what else have we got in here? Anything of value that we think we should take? I suppose this also gives us more of a reason to have a look at Smarty as well, but like, whatever. Um, is there anything I want to break down? That's probably a better question. Give me all this crap, and we'll break some of this down, because we're going to need a lot of components, because chances are I'm going to upgrade these guns with components. I'm going to want to upgrade my cyberware too, right? So we've got a lot of stuff that I need to sort out here. Anyway, I feel like we've got a good weapon going on. Let's have a quick peek. Uh, throw on the... Let's throw on the pistol. We do have attachments we can put on it immediately here. Minus 5% aim down sight time. 25% range, 6 additional zoom. 0 0.3 additional zoom, 12.5 range. So that is just like better in every way. And then for the muzzle, 150... Ooh, we've got a silencer. We've got a muzzle break. I feel like for the pistol... Oh, but I can't put anything on my sniper, can I? There was, there was no, um... There's no, yeah, there's no mod slots for it. I need to test the sniper to see if the sil s sniper's silent. If it is... Um, oh, hello, it's Jake Estevez, everyone. Good number for our Capitan. Thanks for your help with the car. That's one of the jobs I did, by the way. Um, oh, hello. Take part in a clash of... Oh, it's this thing. Take part in a clash of musical universes. Live on Earth. Only happens once in a million years. Mr. Kipper and Private Press on set for 99.9 .9 Impulse. It's a Club Riot in Night City. Can't wait, winky face. And then they reply with... This is an automated message. You know, because I've done all this before and I feel like I'm losing my mind. We've probably got to sleep so we get some more XP as well. Um, does that look like a silent sniper rifle to you? No. That looks like that's going to be really loud. So maybe we do make Jackie's pistol silent. Just so I have a silent weapon. Oh, look at that. Do it for Jackie. Do it for Jackie. He'd be proud to know that we are using his gun for pure violence. Now, we might not do any of the DLC quests, but I do want to drive up to Dogtown so that we can see one of the Ripper Docks there. Because apparently they sell very, very good optics. There's like this eye optic. So I did a bit of reading into this build while I was waiting for Rimworld to render. Um, should we have like 18 hours worth of sleep? Um, let's just have a nice healthy eight hours. There you go, V. Um, there's some like optics that give like a massive crit bonus, which when you're using a sniper from distance, uh, it seems like a pretty safe idea to me. Another thing I've just looked up here, right, is apparently tech sniper rifles. Oh, it's Judy. Hello, Judy. How you doing? Buried up today, Columbarium near North Oak. Thought you might want to know. Thanks for letting me know. How do you feel? How do you feel? Go on, then. She probably feels like shit. Tend to get thoroughly shit-faced today. Yeah, obviously. Honestly, good luck with that. I, d I honestly don't blame you at all. That seems like a great idea. So apparently there's, uh, with tech snipers, you can charge the shot, which sounds incredible. There is a tier 5 tech sniper for sale, presuming this information is still up to date. Um, can be purchased at 11 street cred, which we have, um, from a weapon vendor in Northside. So I guess I'll go and have a look for that quickly and go grab it. Maybe we buy some weapon mods too. I think if I've got the right place, that's this place just here can you just leave hello i'd like to buy some iron i need a gun please buy some. thank you i like that he's not chatty um power sniper rifle that's it literally right there oh shit no 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 no. tech sniper rifle is what i want Ugh. um wow i have no money i can't afford this though there is a tier five sniper if we want it it does less damage but it has a much higher range oh my god 300% headshot damage multiplier. Oh, my God. So even though it does half the damage, if you shoot him in the head, it's effectively is good, right? Got a bunch of weapon mods, too. See, this is the, the other thing I noticed when I was looking for the knives, when I was trying that type of uh, play style. All the shops are wrong. This is north side, right? I'm not going... I'm not going mad. I thought it was here, but maybe it's not. Maybe, maybe I, I'm losing my... Maybe it's like this guy down here. I can go to it. Uh, oh, hey, interesting. I was doing a bit of reading on the way over here. A few dozen pounds. Weapon stock is... Well, 
be my fucking randomized apparently okay then uh, oh, and there it is. Nekamata, tier 5 tech sniper rifle. That's actually what I'm after. So I think if we just sell this fella a little bit of stuff, we might be able to scrounge up enough to buy the bloody thing. Let's give it a go. Maybe I shouldn't be selling the uh, tier 5 shit because I want to take that apart, but whatever. This is fine. We can make do. Here, get rid of that. Oh, I should have put that in storage, but that's all right. Yeah, take that. Oh, this is weird too. Yeah, look at this. I'll buy this one back so I can show it. Um, I don't know if it's a bug or whatever, but there's something weird going on with that, as you will see in just one second i really should sell some of this uh, like the consumable crap because i never use it what is this quick hack really i should keep the quick hacks just in case we decide to swap over and test that tech sniper rifle there it is the damage is significantly lower but it does have that 300 percent. can be charged from hip fire oh so you can't charge it while you're aiming ah oh, fuck um honestly let's give it a go whatever that's fine um what weapon mod you got here is that a silenced or not because i'd rather use jackie's pistol loud because that's what jackie would want um e305 prospective what the fuck does that mean my guy whatever um 100 stealth damage plus five percent damage reduction 100 plus 100 wait plus 100 stealth damage plus 10 percent plus 10 percent crit chance oh i'll take that um okay and then what else do we want to stick on it i presume it's got like a pretty good scope though so i'm not really too bothered about that it's a short scope i wouldn't buy that anyway long scope 0 0.9 additionals in 40 percent range minus 15 percent ads time i'll do all right, that'll do. Thank, fine. Thank you. Great. Appreciate that. Thanks, fella. That's all my money spent. So what I want to do is I want to change Jackie's stuff here. Get that fucking silencer off there. Jackie wouldn't want that. Stick that thing back on it. Good shit. And then give me that sniper. And then we put... Oh, this can take three mods. Holy shit. Um, the, drawing the weapon automatically refills the ammo to 25%. Hello. Minus 15%. Oh, armor penetration. I don't want that. Oh, damn. Oh, I see there's a difference between attachment and mods. Oh, poo. Okay. So I can't put a silencer on this even if I wanted to. Why are you a bollock? Why are you going to ruin my hopes and dreams? All right, Jackie. Sorry, change of plan actually there, uh, fella. I, I can't apparently swap this out. There's no way to like take this off. Action blocked? I can't like take that off of it. Okay, oh, I guess it's locked in then. Fair enough. Um, then for the mods, I fuck it. Yeah, whatever. There you go. All right, well, I've got to test this out. You know I have to do it. Now, what I noticed on the way over here is there's a cyber psycho. And what do I love testing my might out on more than cyber psychos? Poor people who need my help. That's a good luck. I like that. And we still got the grill arms, remember, that hit still like a truck. It's just we can't take as much damage because of a lot of stuff that I swapped out the body stuff. And I know what will catch me out. It's not being able to ground pound anymore with the body stuff either. So got to bear that in mind. Um, right, that's all cool then. Yeah, we're, we're a total, uh, a total cyber psycho mess ourselves. So let's have a look then. Cyber psycho sighting. There's one there. We've only got two left. And that's like number 15 out of whatever. Number 15 out of 17, I think. So let's hop to it. I mean, literally hop to it. I'm going to hop all the way there. I, j I just love the bunny hopping, okay? I know. I know it's fast to use a friggin' bike. Ooh, is this it? Oh, what happened over here? Hold on. I gotta try it then. Jesus Christ, look at that. What the hell? Okay. Um, can I make it up here? There you go. There you go. Oh, fucking LV. V. Okay. This feels good. I like this. Oh my god. Hello. I like this. That was a headshot. Bollocks, was it not? I should stay in cover. Remember, we get that bonus for being in cover. <laughs> this is silly. <laughs> Die. Now that was pretty good. That was a lot better than the throwing knives, let me tell you. Oh. That was a lot of damage, though, huh? And this is like just me throwing together a quick build in like 20 minutes. That's a lot of damage. I can fuck with this. Oh. oh! I can fuck with this. A lot. And bear in mind, this isn't even stealthy. <laughs> Not even remotely. Hold on, so swapping weapons refills... Did it say refills the ammo? I'm not going mad. That did say that, right? Anyway, um, let's swap you to you. There you go. That's what we're looking at. Okay, that's it. Reload it for Jackie. We don't need the gorilla arms. <laughs> it's just 
Real good. That's real. I like that. I'm a I'm a big fan. Bink. See, if you don't get the headshot, it doesn't take them out straight away. So you really do have to get that headshot down. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'll take it. I'll take it. I will admit, I was hoping it'd be a bit more reactive than that. Uh, San Deviston doesn't let you float for as much as I was hoping. Obviously, I was hoping that we would slowly fall and then I could aim it and shoot before we hit the ground. But no, it's even slowing time by what, like 70% or whatever still makes you... You still fall like a brick when you weigh three tons because you're filled with nothing but solid titanium and whatever else is in these cyber implants. Regina. Hey, Maelstrom's got a cyber psycho problem. Yeah. I want him alive, so really try here. And be careful. Maelstromers are crazy. Psychosis are not. Okay. Lovely neighborhood. Right. There's only one cyber psycho here, Johnny, and it's you. You little weirdo. Okay. We've got a freezer. Possibly related to net running operations. What in the fuck? There's the psycho. Are they a net runner? Uh, this could be the cyber psycho, V, and you're okay. alone. Oh, God. The hell is this? It's a cult. Got a bad feeling, V. Thank you, Johnny. Nothing gets past Better you. Look around. This isn't some cyber psycho shit. This is a cult that's gone off the edge. Oh, characteristic of Maelstrom, if not for the atypical color. Bleeding from the eyes, numerous stab runes. No sign of resistance. They've stabbed their own eyes out here. Is this cyber psychosis or is this just a religious... A religious ritual that I probably shouldn't be shouldn't be looking at oh it's it's an encrypted data shard i'm i'm really good at this mini game now so uh just watch some of this shit bazinga look at that you see that you but you barely were able even to keep up with my fast reaction times okay so now we know oh what's going on in there huh hello is that, is that like awful or is that a person it's really really hard to tell Okay, do you, want me to, do you want me to search this person again? Stab wound in the abdomen, abdomen causing fatal damage to the organs of life-supporting implants. I see that, yeah. Okay, so we're looking for the psycho then. Hello? Get up high? What do you think? Is there to collect information? What the fuck have I missed at this stage, huh? What was that? Hello? Ouch. Ouch? Yeah, no shit. Something... Hey, what do you want me to look at, Johnny? Dare I say it. He's like, uh... He's like Navi from... Oh, hello. What are we looking at here? Huh. Hello. Grimy. Thank you, Johnny. From, uh, Legend of Zelda. V, we got company. Yeah, I see that. That's the Cyber Psycho then, huh? Ugh. Are you good? How you doing? Oh, this is very weird, isn't it? Do it for Jackie. We fighting or are you just pissing around? Zariah Hughes. Okay, I got the feeling she's the cyber psycho then. Good try. Oh, careful. Do it for Jackie. Do it for Jackie. How are these not counting? Jesus Christ. I mean, I don't play much Overwatch, but come on now. I feel like some of those should have hit. <laughs> okay, careful, careful, V. Don't forget that we're not... We're not super, super powerful Monkey Fist V anymore. Oh, how did that not count? Come on. Careful there. Great, good work. Oh, those are two headshots that I think shouldn't have counted. Don't kill her. If I overcharge it and hit her in the head, is it going to blow her to pieces? Let's be careful. Ah. I don't want to kill you. I don't want to kill you, though. Madam, I'm trying not to kill you. I'm trying to do you a favor. Bye. 
<laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. We are still playing on hard, don't forget. Wow. Great shot. Oh, and then V went Cyber Psycho. V, you just gotta calm down. Calm down. Don't do it. Ooh. Tech pistol. That could be interesting to try out. Thank you. And then we got, ooh. Is this that then? And we can charge that too. Oh, it does like a burst shot. Okay, interesting. Hello. Thank you for Euro dollars. Read, read the shard found on this lovely lady. Sorry, I got a really sore throat today. It's probably very hard to even talk. The boys have prepared everything and found me a lamp. Blood will course through the fiber optic swelling and blending with the digital opening gates of the abyss. Death within arm's reach. The metallic taste of his scythe on my tongue. The tug at the tangled cables of fate. A hard reset. A blue screen of brain reformats and I'm ready. Luck be with me. So she wasn't a lunatic either. She was just... Religious? Okay. See about this ritual went wrong. Seriously wrong. Place is covered in guts and blood. Must have had something to do with uploading the brain into the net and straddling the border between life and... Life and death. I thought women were more resistant to cyber psychosis. Well, there you go. A tub filled with blood and innocence. Maelstrom never ceases to amaze and disgust. Good work. I think there's only one cyber psycho left now then. And I think... Emphasis on think. I actually managed to get like a lot of them alive as well. No, no, please, no. It's killing time. I'm helping these police. They better not blame me for this. Oh, I've got to get better at shooting. This is no this is no good. This is no good. Oh, come on. This is pathetic. What did he just call me? Yeah, this is terrible. This is a bad show. I'm so sorry. I'm going to get used to this. I've been monkey arming around all day. There are so many times where it looks like it should be a headshot and it's not. And there's so many other times when it absolutely should not have been a headshot. And it gave it to me on that cyber psycho. <laughs> well, I helped. I saved the day. Did I actually help though? I hope I didn't... I hope I didn't kill anyone. You're good. You're safe. You're safe. I helped. I think I actually did help for once. I also said job complete. Was this uh? Have we got new scanner missions then? Hey, I fucking love scanner missions. I'm the scanner lord. Oh, don't, don't tell me there's more. Okay, maybe there's not. Oh, there, there is that one there, but maybe that's maybe that's all there is. Okay, we're good then. Hey, Cyber Psycho's dealt with. What do you think of the build? Let me know. Uh, if there's anything you want me to change about it, by all means. Is my question, is it possible to... Is it possible to go to the DLC area and visit a Ripper Dock without starting the DLC? Because that would be really helpful. I think what I need is a gun that's silenced, to be completely honest. Because we get uh, benefits for obviously having low detection. With this gun, the second I fire a shot off, they know I'm here. Which is no use. Absolutely no use at all. Where did Jackie's gun go? Did it unequip it? Oh no, there we are. Like, absolutely no use. What the fuck is the... Did you see that? I'm calling, I am calling a little bit bullshit on some of these quote-unquote headshots. Am I genuinely just like shooting over their head? You can slow that down and play it back. I'm telling you, there is some horse shit going on with that. Weird. Anyway, I like the, I like the sniper. I feel like it, I think we need something a little bit better though. So anyway, let me know what you think. If you've got any interesting builds you want me to have a look at and try out, please, by all means. Uh, if you want me to look at blades and be a samurai, then I suppose I will reluctantly. But uh yeah, no, we'll, uh, we can we can just do whatever, whenever. The only limit really is Eddie's and being able to afford the cyberware upgrades, right? So other than that, shoot them at me, and I shall see you all tomorrow. A new monkey-free day. <sighs> it's depressing, really, isn't it?